Hi everybody, we're here at Willow Springs Raceway in California. We're here for the California Superbike School. I'll be riding along with my two boys. So we'll let you know how it goes. Um, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. So my sons joke that I'll be the slowest guy on the track, but so what? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hi everyone, this is CJ with Cycletron. My two youngest boys and I just completed track school, California Superbike School, at Willow Springs Raceway near Lancaster, California, and it was an utter blast. I have to admit, I was pretty nervous. I'd never done a track day or been to a track school before. And uh, before we started the course, <clears throat> my boys were saying that I was going to be the slowest guy on the track, which I, I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm here to stay in one piece and learn as much as I can and have fun. And that's how it turned out. Everybody made it safely through the day. The uh, California Superbike School is super professional emphasizes safety, very detail oriented. So I'll take you through what it was like uh, to go to this California Superbike School class and uh, see if it might be something that you'd be interested in. I'm definitely, along with my boys, gonna be doing this again, at least a couple times a year to continue to develop the skills that we learned. And also I think getting outside your normal comfort zone is how you grow and you can bring a lot of new skills back to your everyday riding that makes you a safer and better rider on the streets. So with that in mind, uh, the class started around seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, if you're not familiar with California Superbike School, it was started by Keith Code of Twist of the Wrist fame. And uh, I was talking with him beforehand. He said he could have re retired a long time ago, but he really enjoys what he's doing. His son, Dylan, really runs the course and provided the classroom instruction. Uh, and they have uh, a large group of observers and instructors that give you a debrief after each segment of your ride on the track. They'll break the course down. They'll break the classes down in groups, depending on your skill level and experience. My boys and I started out in the beginner course, and uh, it, it was great. We were riding BMW S1000 double R's, pretty uh, peppy bikes. The bikes didn't have any speedometer display, which they want you to focus on throttle control and, and focusing on making smooth turns and just riding properly. They go over track safety. You know, the person overtaking has the responsibility to yield the right of way. And so it, it went very, very smoothly. Now, I'd say from my perspective, I uncovered some bad habits uh, from years of street riding, not, not necessarily track riding. Uh, I tend to have my knees come away from my tank. You can gain a lot of extra stability by keeping your knees tight against the tank. Uh, I have a tendency sometimes to angle my forearms down to my bars instead of having them in a nice uh, parallel plane with the bars. So I was getting tips about things like that, but uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And in fact, my two youngest boys said that was the most fun they've had in their life going to that track day. So the class ran from seven to 5 p.m. Again, the first hour or so was spent doing classroom work. And then after that, we broke up into our groups and uh, seems like each Riding segment lasted about 20 minutes, and we had four throughout the day, and a uh, lot of track time. I think we got up to speeds of around 120 miles an hour, but it's hard to say. You know, Willow Springs is a 1.6 mile course, and uh, we go in a clockwise direction. A lot of twists and turns, a few straightaways, but uh, they had track spotters that would signal you if you had an issue. Uh, at one point, each of my boys got red flagged to get some additional one-on-one -on -one instruction. 
Uh, one son wasn't passing optimally and the other son was going a little too fast and was going a little wide on some of his turns. So they kind of wove them down. Uh, I'd have to say my boys aired it out a lot more than, than I did. I like to stay at the 80 to 90% of my skill level. So I've got a, a margin of error there. That's just me. I mean, I wanted to get through the class, learn as much as I could and, and not damage the bikes or get injured myself. But again, had a lot of fun. Uh, when you take this class, you're responsible for the first $6,000 of damage to the bike. And for an additional fee, you can get that limitation lowered to $2,000. I did that on all three of our course slots, and I'm, I'm glad I did. It gave me a little peace of mind there. Uh, but this was the first day of the Super School event. They had a total of four consecutive days, so you can really develop progressive skills in a short period of time to quite high degree. So again, I this was a blast. The weather was great. I'd say it's in the 50s in the morning and 80s during the day, uh, clear and dry. Hadn't been to Southern California for many years. Flew to LAX, got a rental car, drove a couple hours up to Lancaster. It was uh, really straightforward, very simple. So yeah, I, I think very highly of this course. And as I mentioned, we're going to do it again real soon. So thanks for checking out this video. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comments section. And please stay tuned for future videos.